You might wonder why do you need to compare two sets of data in a bar graph? Well, imagine you run a business and you want to track the profit growth over the years. Visualizing data through bar graphs helps us quickly grasp the changes in values and make informed decisions. Hey there, Excel enthusiasts! Welcome to Excel Demi, your go-to destination for mastering Excel and Excel VBO-related challenges. I'm Shahriyar Abdul Rafid, and in today's video, I'll be showing a detailed guide on how to make a bar graph comparing two sets of data. So, let's roll up our sleeves and get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. We have the dataset concluding the profit of ABC Tech Store. This dataset includes the product name, profit of this year, and profit of last year in different columns. Our first step is simple. I'll start by putting two sets of data into a bar graph. Select the data you want to compare. Here, we are selecting the B5 to D12 range. Then, go to the Insert tab. Look for Insert column or bar chart drop-down icon in the Charts group of commands. Choose the first option of the 2D bar section, which is Clustered Bar, to create your graph. And there you have it, a clear bar graph showcasing the changes in profit between two years. But wait, let's add some formatting. Right click on any bars, choose the Format Data Series option from the context menu. In the Format Data Series task pane, there is an option named Gap Width. Reduce the gap width to 0% to make these bars more visible. You can also change the chart title. Double click on it and change it to Profit Analysis. Now your bar graph is ready to present. In the second step, I will add data levels to my bar graph for better understanding. Select the bar graph, then go to the Chart Design Contextual tab. Click on Add Chart Element drop-down icon on the Chart Layers group. Place the mouse on Data Levels. Choose the Outside End option. Now, the bar graph shows the profit data next to the bars. To make the graph even more informative, let's include a data table to it. Select the chart, go to the Chart Design tab, click on Add Chart Element drop-down icon, select Data Table, Choose the No Less and Keys option. The profit data for both years are now presented in a neat table. In the last step, I'll compare the percentage change in profits with respect to the last year. First, make some new columns. I'm adding columns for variance in profit increase or decrease under column E. For positive variance under column F, for negative variance in column G and percentage change in column H. Let's format these columns first. Select the column headers and press Ctrl plus B to make them bold. Change the font size to 12. Now I'll increase the column width by auto fitting. To do this, I'll select the column headers and place the cursor at the border of a column. Now it looks like a double headed arrow. Now double click on it. Look, the column width is increased. Now select cells in the E5 to H12 range and apply all borders. Let's give a fill color to the column headers. After that, go to cell E6 and type the formula. First, press an equal sign, select cell C6 minus cell D6 and press enter. It's the difference in profit of this year from the last year. Use fill handle to autofill lower cells. Again, type another formula in cell F6 to determine the positive variance of the profits. First, plus an equal sign, use if function. As the logical test argument, I'll place E6 greater than 0, comma, as value if true argument, I'll place minus E6, comma, and for value if false argument, I'll place a blank space, closing the parenthesis, and press enter. Here, the if function checks if the value and cell E6 
is greater than 0. If the value in cell E6 is greater than 0, the if function will return the negative of the value in E6. For example, the E6 contains 11,252. So, the formula will return minus 11,252. If the value in cell E6 is not greater than 0, the if function will return an empty string, effectively showing a blank cell. Again, use the fill handle. After that, I'll write down another formula in cell G6. Plus an equal sign. Again, I'll use the if function. For logical test argument, I'll give E6 less than 0, comma. For value if true argument, I'll place minus E6, comma. For value if false argument, I'll put a blank space, closing the parenthesis. I press enter. Double click on the lower right corner of the cell to autofill lower cells. This formula is similar to the previous one. Actually, it's the opposite of that formula. It checks if the value in cell E6 is lesser than 0. If it is, it returns the negative of that value. Otherwise, it returns a blank cell. Finally, get the percentage change values by using one other formula in cell H6. Equal to E6 divided by D6 and press enter. Use the fill handle. To display the result in percentages, click on the percent style icon in the number group of commands. Also, you can use the Ctrl plus Shift plus percent keyboard shortcut to do the same. Now, the result is shown as percentage. Now, we are going to show this information in a bar graph. Especially, our main focus is on percentage change. Right click on the chart and select format data series option in the context menu and check if the series overlap and gap width both are set to 0%. After that, select any of the DCR bars which are blue colored bars and right click on it. Select fill and no fill. Next, select the chart and go to the chart design contextual tab. Click on add chart element, error bars and more error bars options. The add error bars dialog box will appear. Our error bars will be based on this year's profit. So we select this year and click OK. Thereafter, you will see the profit of this year with the error bars. Select any of them. Now in the format error bars task pane, there's a section named error amount. Here select custom. Now click on specify value button. I'll insert some ranges in the custom error bars dialog box by selecting them. Select the positive variance values which are in the F6 to F12 range in the positive error value box and negative variance values which are in the G6 to G12 range in the negative error value box. Click OK. Thereafter, select the chart and go to add chart element, data levels, more data level options. In the format data label window, check value from cells option in the label contains section. In the data level range dialog box, select the range H6 to H12, which is the percentage change column for the select data level range box. Now click OK. Next, uncheck value and show later line for convenient visualization of our chart. Now select any orange colored bars. Click on the chart elements icon, uncheck data levels option. You can see the increase and decrease of profits of this year in percentage in the chart. To make the error bars look more efficient, we can just keep the increased profit bars in the chart to compare these two sets of profit data. Select any error bar. In the format error bars task pane, select horizontal error bar and choose plus. This will show the increased profit with error bars. A decrease in profits will be demonstrated by just corresponding percentage value. Remember, visualizing data helps us make better decisions and spot trends quickly. In this tutorial, we have showed four useful steps to make a bar graph comparing two sets of data. You can use whatever you need. Download the workbook from the description box so you can practice it yourself. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com. If you like this video, consider subscribing and click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.